progression. We think everything progressively. So within those progressions, we have the parameters. Parameters, if we, if we watch all the, uh, the uh, top players, men and women, we'll see that they have something in common. Do they have the same forehead? No. Do they have the same motion in their serve? No. But they do something the same. Mm -hmm. Basically, if I would ask everybody, how many top players in the world uh, hit a forehead and the racket, the racket goes back below mm -hmm. their hand? Anybody has any, any, anybody? You do? Okay, exactly. There is nobody that does that. So, that's one of our parameters with a forehand, with backhand, with body. How many good bodies? A uh, body with a, with a grip that, that is not very close to a continent. No, then do either. So those are the parameters that we're going to go through today. So we're going to go through this first step very quick. I'm going to get uh, Michela, and I'm going to treat it like he's a beginner. Okay? So we're going to go through real quick to stop the progression that we do with the kids. Michela, you can be playing? Yeah. You're going to play left-handed? Okay. Are you good lefty? Oh, yes, sir, you are. Okay. So if I didn't know Michela at all, and she was six years old, I'm going to give you a lesson. More than likely, I was you know, long head neck and trying to be uh, obviously uh, not trying but be friendly and pleasant. And then I would go with a grip, I would just have it for the, for the racket, with pretty much a semi a semi western to an eastern more or less. I would I would tell her how to how to stay, how to take her racket back, okay? Not like that, just like that, but then to be like this, not like that, right? About her hand, you know, whatever is comfortable for her. I would put her racket back, I would show her the follow through, right? I can go for you every day. And then I just send it follow through, then the mechanic, boom, and there we go. So I will put it pretty close to the net. And what I'm gonna do, we're gonna send these balls off for um for the right ball. Um get out of your close and basically once again, get back and back, ready position. Ready position at this A go, get your racket back. So very, very easy, I check it grip, you ready? Don't hit me, whatever you do. Rock it back a little more, rock it back a little more. You've got it perfect. Okay, you just want the ball. Wow, all right, again. Okay, so basically I will do that with the forehand. I will go to the backhand. I make sure that the grips are as close within the parameters of, of, what, of, of what I'm looking for. And also for her to be able to keep playing as she gets older and get better. So we've got a foundation, I give her with a grip, the easiest guy for him to keep playing. So I will go through the same thing. I will make sure that the bottom hand is close to a, close to a continental, to hit a backhand. Okay, this one maybe. Okay, and I will go, this one goes eastern that way. You set it sideways, get ready. You rack it back, I will, I will, okay. You can get your feet a little more open. There you go. That will go, that the same thing. You can hear, go hit, go hit it up in your left hand. Okay, so once again. This takes what? It takes patience and love for the game. In my opinion, anyway. Whoops. Now we're going to do the same thing. You ready? Do it from the back. Good. Okay. Nice and easy. And I will feel the ball to facilitate. Perfect. Okay, Michaela. All right. Okay, Michaela. What about that one? <laughs> huh? All right. Ready? Okay. You know, uh, w once again, I, I love them. That was all my life. And this is part. Of, and this is part. I mean, we can have a great time, or we can have a great time, right? So well, we're gonna have a great time again. So basically, that that would be the first step that we do with them. After that, we're gonna start. Uh, the reason we we, we we started like that because of the difficulty of the sport. We teach it reverse. Okay. Imagine if I put Michaela on the back court and I just fire in balls like that. I mean, her minds. I mean, her eyes. Her, her mind, her eyes, her feet, and her hands are going to get so confused because it's a very, very high, high skill sport. So we started the opposite. We started with the hands, then we go with the, with the movement, and then we put everything together with the eyes and mind. That's how normally I will start a, a young kid. Whoop. So now we're going to go with Michaela, the same thing. We're going to start hitting pretty quick, guys, so don't go. So we're going to get a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna, we're going to go the same thing. She already knows how to hit a point in the back end. Not great, but she has a pretty good idea. And then we're going to start with, with your forehand movement, right? So she's going to split step. She's going to point the left foot outside, right? And then we're going to do a shuffle, even though people don't shuffle as much anymore. Sideways, they normally cross over a little more. 
But she's going to go one, two, she's going to load, boom. She's going to recover the same way. Same idea. Ready? We're going to go real quick to this and just start hitting. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. I'm going to feel the away from her. Perfect. Recover good. Again. Perfect. Again. Once again, as, as the student gets, I'm going to challenge her all the time with her, with her movement, but I'm not going to challenge her more, more that she can handle, basically. So I'm going to have her slowly grab go the back end. Same idea. Ready? Okay. I, I forgot one step. Before, um, once we go to the first step with this one, then, then we go to the ready position. Forgot that one. You didn't tell me anything, Paul. You're doing fine. Pay attention, will you? All right. Okay, so uh, so basically after the first step, once again, Michaela, you getting bored? No, okay. So you're gonna get ready position. And we're gonna do the same thing with the forehand. Okay, forehand side, ready position. Okay, perfect. Ready position, no moving. Again, very nice. Again, okay. That would be the second step, both sides before I actually make a move. We did that, we go with the back end, same idea, ready? Okay, two steps, two shuffle. Again, beautiful. You've been practicing, haven't you? Good. All right. So, so basically, in the meantime, let, let's say with the uh, with the serve, for example, at, at young ages, what what I would do is just I would have them just work on the toes. You just put a little cone up, a little high, something in, in the ground, so they can start having a good, that's the toughest or the toughest thing of, of, of the serve anyway. So. We go uh, eat a few bodies. Follow. Yeah. Can I, one thing, sure. one of the things, you know, we mentioned the regional training centers, and last year over a thousand different eight to thirteen year olds came to these camps, and each kid gets evaluated and videotaped, and there's an analysis, and over seventy-five to eighty percent of the kids had flaws in grips and basic swing path. So what Jose is doing is it's pretty simple, right? Everybody agree? What what was just done was pretty simple progression. But yet, we're receiving players at regional training centers that their grips aren't, don't fall within the parameters their and their swing paths don't fall in the parameters. So somewhere along the line, the, the, the simple things are being overlooked. So I, I, I just bring that up. So you put it in our head that somewhere some of these fundamentals are missing. And what does that mean in player development along the line? And when these kids are 18 or 20 or 17, all of a sudden their games are limited Why? because they have some flaws in the simple, in the simple things. So, and that's why these progressions are, are really, really important. We, we just go with the ball in some of these and then we go and we start hitting. Yeah, come on, you have Michaela. So Michaela, she's not 13, she's only six. So either I get a very small racket for her, or, I, or I'm gonna have her chop the racket. Okay, so I'm gonna have her get the proper grip to be close to the continental, right there, you're gonna be higher, okay. I'm gonna go behind her, okay. same idea, once again. Turn around behind it, turn around this. There you go. So the racket here, I'm not going to see the ball and see if I get the idea. If the racket is too big, the racket is going to, it's going to, the racket head is going to, it's going to go down and not going to be able to do it. So you can just play to me, okay? I'll grab it. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Here you go. You're stepping. I'll give it. Okay? Okay. Walk. That's an easy. Perfect. Yeah, that's an easy. Perfect. You can tell that you know. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Other side? I'm not going to go there because you're too good. Let's get the same way, no? So you're rocking with your, uh, with your higher, with your higher, with your higher, and one hand out. One hand out, okay? Ready? Okay. Good okay. idea. Go. Perfect. Open up. Perfect. Open up. Perfect. The, the one thing is, it's a lot easier to teach somebody properly than correct the, the best teaching. So that's my experience. If you teach them right, it's a pretty smart, they're going to learn pretty well. If you have to make a big correction, good luck. As they get older, it becomes tougher and tougher. So what we're going to do, assuming that Michele is a great student, we'll see, we're just going to go with the more intermediate and advanced players. We're going to do some feeding. Normally, though, uh, the, the ultimate